Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you guys like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big growing family. Thank you so much for your loving support and your beautiful comments. I would like to mention I do have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join in my group as long as you have a profile pic there's too many hackers going on on crochet groups so we want to be extremely careful on that um, i also do have a crochet page you can follow me i have instagram and tiktok all of these links will be listed below the video you just have to click and get yourself part of the journey with us um, in the link also below the video, there is a two minute video showing you how to slow down the video. Sometimes I get ahead of my head and I forget that I'm recording. So as a fast crocheter, I try my best, but I do tend to forget that I'm recording. <clears throat> also, and of course it will show you how to zoom in the stitch and also Turn your closed caption on. You could always pause and take notes. I don't write patterns. A lot of you ask me uh, about written patterns. I don't for those reasons. That's why I decided to record the little video. A lot of you still don't know how to zoom in either your iPod or your tablet or your um, mobile phone. And these are easy things to do. I use four ply 100% cotton thread. These are Portugal thread, similar to Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia number three cotton is a little bit thicker. Your patterns will become bigger. For the most part, I use 2.75 hooks, sometimes three, depending upon the project I'm working on. A small hook and, of course, a pair of scissors. Um, we are going to get started. Please, if you have not subscribed, please join us. Do so. It's free. Um, you're, you're not paying for any of these tutorials. Giving thumbs up also is free. It hurts you nothing to click that thumbs up button. A lot of you see and a lot of you create my patterns and I can see that you are not subscribed yet. Or little enough, give a thumbs up. It's kind of sad for us because we work so hard for you guys. We ask nothing but to just like and subscribe. Uh, if you have opinions, suggestions that you would like to see more specifically of a pattern, please let me know. Leave leave a comment below the video. And sharing is caring. So if you can share the video through your social media, your WhatsApp, your Messenger, um, highly appreciated. Thank you so much. I send you guys lots of love. Let's get started, everyone. Okay, everyone. So today I'm going to create another oval. Um... Uh, tulip similar to this one that I've just launched a few days ago the difference is is going to be on the stitch here instead of having these motives it's going to be like in squares okay so that gives you another option of different style but the same um, design let's say so very simple. So it's just going to change this area here. And of course, I'll be using different colors. Make sure you look ahead of the video to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. We can correct that on the spot. Usually when I make a mistake, I don't add it. So you guys can see that I make mistakes too. I'm far from being perfect. Probably will never be. Um, but we can correct it without taking it down. Now, of course, if it's at the beginning... Then we take it down. It doesn't take that much time. But if you're further up and you made a mistake here and you're all, all the way over here, we're not going to take all this work down. We're going to work around that mistake and fix it. And it's a way for you guys to learn also. Okay, so I'll be using a 2.75 hook, a small scissors, and a small hook to tuck in loose ends. And for those that missed out on this, I'll leave the link below. And yesterday I had just launched the round uh, doily that it was a special request also. There's people that are selling them in sets, so um, anything I can do to help them out, of course, I'm there to help them out. So um, we're going to get some eventually, probably after I've done the oval one, I'll probably do a round one with the same stitch that will follow 
with the oval one, okay? So I'm going to be using into the royal blues. A lot of you love the royal blues. And these uh, colors are colors that, you know, they they get, they get seek a lot of attention. So this is perfect for people that are selling uh, and you have them displayed um, either, you know, on your little store or on, on, on the internet or on Facebook if you're selling them and things like that. They're just perfect to uh, pull the attention of everyone and you'll have great sales for sure. Okay, so be using in the royal blue. This is number three uh, color, of course, because my colors go by number. Uh, baby blue, number one. I'll be using the brown. My two lips will be mixed. I have leftover thread. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess here. My two lips will be mixed blue, yellows, uh, turquoise. Okay. And my two lips probably on the light uh, green, uh, my stands. Okay. So, and of course, the off white. Okay. But sometimes I change ideas and I change colors. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Let's get started, everyone. I'm going to start off with my brown, which is number 20. And I'm going to do 58 chain stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 58. I just want to mention, if you want to make it smaller, you can go 50. Either you do it by fours. That means 54 or 58. Uh, Sorry, what am I talking about? Um, yes, 54 or 58. Uh, so you can do 50. You have to increase the chain by fours, okay, to get your results, uh, the same results. So I'm going to do 58 on mine. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than the other one I've created, okay? I have my 58 chain. Again, if you want to go bigger, so you can... Uh, Add to um, six, uh, 62 and, and so on. So you keep adding by four. Okay. So now 58. I'm going to come back on my fourth chain. One, two, three on my fourth chain. And I'm grabbing right in the center that means leaving one loop in the bottom and we have two loops up top we don't want the pattern to curve okay so one double crochet per stitch just like that all the way to the end so i'll meet you at the end of my row okay everybody <clears throat> so i finished doing all my double crochets now, including with the three chain that we came into the fourth, it's 56 double crochets. But I'm not going to count this very first one because we'll be working inside of it. So I have 55 double crochets. Okay. So now I'm going to do four chain. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to come on that very first one with slip stitch. Okay. Now I'm going to change my hook to a smaller one because I'm going to work inside of the um, chain stitch we did. So I'm going to go up one, two, and three. This is a way much, much smaller one. I should use a bigger, a little bit bigger than this, but I stretch my thread and I like working with this hook because it fits well into my tight stitches. So now we're going to do one per stitch all the way to the end. That means the 55 double crochets. I not counting this three chain or the four chain at the at the end here we'll be working eight double crochets in there but we'll get there when we get there okay so one per stitch and um, count how many you have because you have to have the same amount as you have on this side okay 
Okay, everyone. So I've done my 55 double crochets. I'm going to put a, my hook, or not my hook, my marker on the last one. And this is for you guys because there's always new people in the channel. So here you can put it there on the very first one on the other side. And also on the last one here, just before that three chain on the corner. And of course, um, so we have that three chain there. I'm gonna put it on the other side. So we're not we're not counting that three chain or four chain we have there at the edge at the corner. Here obviously is where we start. So you want to put it, you can. Okay, so I've done my 55 double crochets. I'm gonna come inside of that four chain and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight double crochets. I'm just going to move this to continue and then put my hook back on, back on. So on to the next one, double crochet. So the increase is eight inside of that three or four chain. Some people do three chain because their tension is quite loose, so that's okay. And then one per stitch, the 55 double crochets again until the other end, and then we'll complete the eight double crochets also on the three chain there, four chain, I should say, I did four chain. Okay, so I'll meet you there. Okay, everyone, so I've reached my last one. Doing my double crochet. Then you put your hook back on just to make sure that you don't get confused, lost. Normally I don't because obviously I know what I'm doing. But because there's always new people and they're learning, they need to understand how this is working out. So I'm coming inside that four chain and creating those eight double crochets again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Closing on that second or third chain, how many you guys did. I don't know, everybody's tension is different. I'm going to come back in again on that same stitch, just because I don't want a big mark going up. Stretching my thread a bit, single, and stretching again one chain. So that's my first double crochet. Again, I'm going to complete my 55 double crochets all the way to the end. And then we're going to do the increase on the eight double crochets. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I've done my last double crochet. Moved my my marker down. So coming inside of that first double crochet of the eight, we're doing an increase of two double crochet per stitch. That means we'll be having 16 double crochets here at, at both edges on each side. Okay, everyone. So pretty much did my increase two per stitch. Already done this side. And so we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. I'm going to close in on my chain, get a single one chain with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in, stretch my thread, single and one chain. So I have my first double crochet. Now we're going to build groups of three double crochet. 
next stitch double crochet and next stitch double crochet so I have my first group of three double crochet one chain I'm going to skip a stitch and coming in the next one creating those groups again of three double crochet one chain skip a stitch into the next one and we're going to continue this way all the way to the very last one where we have the marker which is our 55th double crochet okay so I'll meet you at the end we're gonna call this row one it's gonna make things easier for you guys okay okay everyone so I finished my 13th group I have 13 groups and it ended exactly where I have my marker okay we're going to do one chain we're coming in that first member we have the two double crochets we're not skipping any we're doing one double crochet into the next one double crochet one chain into the next double crochet and again into the next one so we're creating groups again of two and one chain we don't want to skip any double crochets here we have to have eight groups at the edges here on the oval one chain space into the next one double crochet and double crochet oh my goodness I almost sneezed loud it just came unexpectedly but I held it in keep grabbing one loop here <clears throat> so one and two and we're going to repeat the same thing on this side okay so we're gonna have eight one two three four five this is my sixth my seventh and my eighth group at the edge and then we go back into the normal three groups that we were doing. So one, two, and three. One chain space, skip a stitch into the next one and create your 13 groups of three. So you should have 13 groups of three on this side exactly as we have here on this side and then you should have eight groups of two without skipping any and one chain space between them okay so I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I pretty much finished doing my groups now I've closed in with slip stitch I've done a single one chain and I'm going to do two more now if you're used to doing three chain and then um so one more so single and two chain this is what I've done but you can do your four chain or five chain as you're used to doing this will be a double crochet here I'm going to come inside of that one chain space and create my groups of three double crochet so this row two we'll call this row one row two all the way around will be groups of three double crochet including at the edges on the oval okay one chain space and three double crochets inside of my one chain space here but I'll meet you at the edge okay so I've reached my edge I've done my one chain so I'm coming in between my three double crochets and my two double crochet groups and doing three one chain in between the two double crochet groups where we have one chain and create three double crochet we're going to do this the same thing on the other side creating the groups in between 
the two double crochet groups. So three double crochet groups all the way around. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I'm reaching the end. Remember, we started with that one double crochet. So we have to put two inside. And that one double crochet makes our third. Okay. I'm going to change my thread to the royal blue. Okay, everyone. So you know we have our marker here. So I'm going to do my three double crochet groups. Single one chain, that's my first double crochet, and then two more. One chain, and then my three double crochets. Until I get to the edge, then we're going to change up a bit at the edge. Okay. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much did, so I have 14, obviously it increases because we did the square, we started with the group and the square, and then uh, groups again, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 groups, one chain. Now I'm coming in this first um, uh, space here. That's where we have the two groups below, remember? And we're going to do a shell of two double crochet. Two chain. Two double crochet again. Actually, we're not going to do two chain. We're going to do one chain. I don't know why. So one chain. Come back in and do your two double crochets. One chain. So building shells of two double crochet. We're going to build eight shells. One chain and two more double crochet. So I have two already. One chain space and create two double crochet one chain and two more double crochet so i have three i'm going to complete eight of them so i've completed my eight shells one two three four five six seven eight and it finished exactly also on the two last groups of two that we did now I'm going back to my normal three groups of three double crochet. And I'm going to repeat the same thing at the other end, the eight shells that we just finished doing. Okay. So I'll meet you at the other end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished my row. I have 14 groups of three on this side, 14 on this side, and eight uh, shells on both sides, okay? So now I'm going to come back in. I'm going to stretch my thread. I'm going to do a single and one chain. That's my double crochet. And one more for turning. When I come back, I'll complete this group there. So I'm going to continue to do my three double crochet groups. One chain. And three double crochets. Okay. Until we meet at the edge at our 14th from the previous row. That means I'll meet you here before we did the shell, right? So I'll meet you there on that on that group. Okay, everyone, so I have 14 created. Of course, I will have 15 because I will need to complete this last one here. So just before the shell, I did my three 
Now I'm going to do my one chain. Coming in the shell, I'm doing two double crochets. So the edges will be two double crochets only. One chain into the next one chain space and create your two double crochet into the shell. Two double crochet, one chain. And proceed this way until your last shell. And I will let you know how many groups of two double crochet we have here at the edge. So basically it's just groups of two, one chain space. So one, two, three, four, five, six so far. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I should have 15 groups of two. So I've done my 15 groups of two, and then we repeat again, one chain, and our three double crochet groups. Okay, simple. And just repeat the same thing what we've done on this corner on this edge. We must repeat it on the next corner the 15 groups of two double crochet exactly how we did here okay so i'll meet you at the end okay you guys so i've reached the end remember we started with that one double crochet so i'm going to add two inside of the chain space and close it in with slip stitch so we have 15 groups on this side of two, 15 on this side, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen on this side also. So it's perfectly balanced out. Okay. Okay, everyone. So Again, we're going to create the groups of, of three. So I'm coming in that first space, single two chain. I'm creating the three double crochet groups, one chain space, until we meet our last one, which is the 15th, remember? So I'm going to meet you here at my 15th. Okay, everyone, so I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I will have 16 because I have the last one to do there when we come around. I believe so. One chain. So we're, I'm in between the three, the last three double crochets and the two. So we're going to do groups of two again on the edges. I believe I should have 15 groups of two double crochet, but I will confirm it once I am done, okay? So I've done 15 groups of two. Now I'm going to continue to do, as you can see it stops right after the groups of two. Now I'm going to continue to do my groups of three until where we have the last three uh, double crochets and the two. Okay. Okay, everyone. So it's 15 groups of three, 15 groups of two. Okay. I was already not calculating it properly. Okay. So again, we're going to continue to do the groups of three. So we must go up. I'm going to come back into the same one. Single and one chain. Make sure you see it properly. And one more for turning. Coming in, doing my groups of three double crochet until I hit before the corner of my marker. Okay, so let's just continue to do these groups of three. Okay, everyone, so done my group between the three double crochet and the two. This rule. And the next row will be 
exactly the same thing. So we'll be doing groups of three double crochet all the way around. There is no um, no increase, no decrease. It's just groups of three double crochet all the way around on this row and on the next row. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, and on row seven also exactly the same thing. So we're just repeating row seven, what we're doing now on this row six, okay? And I'm counting row six from the very first one. We started with the groups of three, so don't get confused, okay? And I'll meet you at the end once I've completed row seven also, okay? Okay, everyone, so I finished doing my seven rows. Row six and seven are exactly the same groups of three all the way around. Okay, coming in with my cream color. So we have the two groups here, the, the two double crochet. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to do groups of three only at the edge. When we get there, we are doing groups of four, okay? But we'll get there when we get there. So coming in, doing three. Let me just check here. Okay, everyone, so I said cream. I've changed my mind. I'm going in with a baby blue. And I've started my first group of three double crochets just until about where we have the two groups here. So I'm going to do it until there. I'll let you know how many groups I have all together. Okay, everybody. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen groups of three. Now, I'm going to start to do groups of four double crochet. And I'll let you know how many I have done of four double crochet when I get to my marker on the other side. One chain space between them. So far, one, two, three, four, until I get here, and then I'll let you know. Okay, you guys, so I have 14 groups of four, and then coming back in with the three double crochet groups. And if you realize, the last... Um, The last group of four is just before the two down here, which is where our marker more or less is at. Okay, so I'll meet you here at the next one just to make sure you're on the right track. Okay, everyone, so I have 16 groups on this side also of three double crochet. And if you realize the last Three double crochet is just before that group of two down here. Okay, so one chain and continue to do your four double crochet groups. One chain and again four double crochet groups. Okay. After this, I'm cutting my thread. Okay, everyone. So coming back in with my brown. And this row will be all about double crochet. So you can start pretty much anywhere because we're cutting the thread after this. Of course, if you're changing colors. So I'm coming in and I'm going to do my single, stretching my thread, and my uh, one chain 
Maybe I should do two chain just to hide this thread a little bit more. Okay, so single two chain. Double crochet on each stitch where we have that one chain space, we're doing one double crochet. And that goes for the oval part also, one per stitch and one inside of one chain space. And then I'm cutting my thread after this. Okay, so just double crochet, even on the uh, edges, one per stitch and one inside of the one chain space. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing all my brown, my double crochets all the way around. Now I'm coming in with the off-way. This row will be all about the poof stitch, okay? So I'm going to start, just because we've been doing it that way, uh, right here. We have the last two double crochets here, so I'm going to write on this one right here. It's all going to be poof, so there's not really... Uh, a difference on count here, edges or sides, okay? So I'm going to come in with a single to start off, okay? And one, two chain. I'm coming back in that same stitch Actually, not even two chain. I don't know what I was thinking. So a single and stretch your thread. Okay, so that would be one, two, and make sure that you stretch it at the same time. Three and four. Okay, now we're going to skip a stitch. We're going to skip this next one. I'm not supposed to roll that on the hook. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but. So skip a stitch into the next one and close it all together. So it's almost like doing a single. And this is a side weight poof. Two chain. I'm going to come in where I did that single. We're going to call that the single. And stretch your thread. One, two, three, and four. Skip a stitch into the next one. And close it all together. Now, of course, my hands are stretched out. And so it's much easier when I have it on my lap, right? Again, one, two, three and four skip a stitch into the next one try to pull this all together and close it all at all at once one two chain coming in where we did that single one two okay this time I want to make sure you guys understand. So we have this stitch back here. I'm going to take this down again so you guys can understand it. When we go to the next stitch, okay, let's do that again. So we've closed that one. I'm going to stretch my thread coming back in that single one two, three, and four. Now when we skip a stitch and we go here, we're pretty much stretching the, you know, it's like leaving a, a thread back here, okay? And we are closing. So if you turn around, you see this thread back here from going from one place to the other. Now we can hide that. So we're going to do one, two chain. 
Here, we're going to grab that single with that thread so we can hide it. And I'll show you in a second one. So we're basically pulling that thread up top. The thread, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right there, pretty much hiding that thread away. One, two, three, and four. Skip a stitch and close it, okay? So you see this thread here. <clears throat> when we're going to come back and do, so the thread is like right here in between the poof, we're going to do one, two chain, and we're going to hide that thread right behind the hook. So one, two, three, and four. Skip a stitch, and close it with single, okay? Okay, so one, two chain, coming behind, and I'm grabbing that thread, and I'm hiding it. You don't have to, you can leave it as is. It's just gonna leave a line behind there, which is fine. So I have four, skip a stitch into the next one and close it in, two chain. So we're gonna do this all the way around the same way. This is cream color, by the way. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so. <laughs> After so many years of crocheting, can you imagine that? I just found a trick where we don't need to have that little line going back there. And I'm going to give you an example on my other pattern. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you. So you see this line? On this one, I didn't grab the line behind, okay? So it leaves this line like that. I mean, it's not ugly because it's all lined up, but it's much prettier this way without the line. Now, I just discovered how we can do <laughs> this without having a line and worrying about covering with the double crochets going in between. Wow, you discover something new or you learn something new every day. So I've done my two chain. I'm going to come in one two three and four turn once on your hook because this is exactly the line that goes across to the other one so turn once on your hook skip a stitch and come in the next one and there no line behind can you imagine that after all of these years one two and there is no line to grab. So one, two, three, and four. Skip a stitch into the next one. Turn once on your hook so you don't get that line. Oh my God, I just discovered it. I am just discovered it and I'm just so happy I did. One, two, and there is no line that you have to worry about covering. Two, three, and four. Now, unless you want a line back there, skip a space, and the line automatically stays there. So we don't have to worry about it. I mean, how awesome is that? Oh, my goodness. Well, you've just learned something new with me, now, unless you already knew that. I didn't know that. Okay, everyone, so we are on our last proof. I'm going to come in where I started the very first one and take it all out, one chain only, and I'm going to come and close it on the very stitch that we closed all of them together, okay, and then cut our thread. And then tuck in your loose ends, of course. I still can't get over that I just discovered how to do this poof stitch without having a lining in the back. I mean, I used to grab both linings like I showed you guys, not to show that line, or sometimes I didn't even bother, just let it, let it be. After all of these years of experience, well, 
And it tells you that you're always learning something new, right? So, back in your loose ends, and I'm going to come back in with the brown again. Okay, everyone. So, if we're going straight up where the, those two double crochets are of the blue, we're going to end up right here. Okay, but I need, we're going to do um, two double crochets inside of each uh, space here of the poop. So I need 28 groups of two. So I've lined mine like this, and the other one is pretty much almost, let's see if I can get it here. But anyway, I think most important is for you to know this one because then once you do your 28, you'll see where it follows. So I'm going straight up. And then you could even count as you're uh, doing this. Okay. So I'm going to put my thread there. You could even count. So basically, it's right on top where we have the three double crochets, because then we have the four here, okay? So the first of the three. I think it's the easiest way. So I'm going to do a slip stitch on there, just to get that going. And one chain. Coming back in and doing two double crochets per stitch. I need 28 groups of two double crochet. Okay, so count afterwards your 28. Remember what I said, I've started on the poof right on top of the first three double crochets okay, everyone so I have 28 groups I'm going to do until we have the three here just before the four is I have to remember that this piece is bigger than the other one I did so it lands almost on top of the three double crochets here okay so I have 30 groups now on this one here after my 30 groups I'm doing three double crochet we're gonna alternate on this one we're going to do two on the next one we're going to do three Next one, we're going to do two. And we're going to alternate more or less until about where we have the other uh, three double crochet. But I'll come back to you once I'm done so I can show you. So you and I'll tell you how many I have done. I think it will work better that way for you guys to understand. So we're alternating two double crochet three double crochet and then two double crochet and then three double crochet so basically alternating in between three two three two three two okay and then I'll let you know how many I've done okay everyone so I've done 37 starting from the very first one we did of the three three two three two so I've done 37 groups of these okay and it pretty much stops almost on top of the three right after the four double crochets we've done there so 37 groups okay and now we continue with the two again so we must have 30 groups of two double crochet same thing as we have done on the other side, okay? 
I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I have the same amount on the edges, and I have the same amount, the 30 groups on the sides. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with a multicolored green. We're going to do the stems for the uh, tulips. You can start anywhere. There's no specific um, order for this. So I'm just going to start here where we have the, the first two groups of the double crochet. Single, one chain, and one for turning. Coming back in and doing my double crochet. I have to see on mine how many I skipped. I can't even remember. So three. One, two. On my third one, double crochet, one chain, and double crochet. We're going to repeat this. Oops, no chain space. One, two, and three. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. Double crochet, one chain, come back in the same stitch and do your double crochet. Skip one, two on the third one. Double crochet, one chain on the same stitch, double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing all my V's. Now, on the last one, I only skipped, um, I only skipped one and went into the next one, okay? I didn't skip two because I, I needed one more, but that's no problem, okay? So I'm going to come in. Anywhere you want. I'm going to start off here where we have the three double crochet. It doesn't matter where you start because we're just doing two loops. So I'm going to do a single, one, two chain. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to do four incomplete double crochet. Now, if you find, if you're using thinner thread, then you can do five to make your two loops a little bit uh, thicker. And then we're closing at once. One, two, three chain. Let's see if three is good enough. It should be good enough. One, two, three, and four incomplete double crochet. And then close it at once. One, two, three chain. Into the next one. That's all we're going to do all the way around. One, two, three, and four. And close it together. One, two, three chain. Even on the oval, it will be the same thing. Two, three, and four incomplete double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing all my two lips. I'm coming in with the cream color again. And I'm going to start, so we have the four double crochets here. This is just to guide you. We have the three there. So I'm going to start right after the three double crochets we have here in brown. Okay, we have those three there. So I'm starting the one right up top. So I'm going to do... single and two chain doing three double crochets I'm 
of the check. I always my pattern to to be my guideline. So into the next, we're doing three double crochets again, all the way until we meet just before the uh, corner here. So we have those three double crochets. Where am I at? Here. So I'll meet you here, okay? We have the groups of two just before the three double crochet. So three double crochets. Okay, everyone, so far I've done 20 groups of three. And this falls right in between here of the two groups, which we have the next one falls right on top of the three when we first started doing those three double crochets. So now here I'm going to do, we're going to alternate again. So four double crochets because we're heading to the edge, to the oval part. Next one, three double crochet. Next one, four double crochet. So we're going to alternate exactly how we did on the previous row. And I'm going to stop where it ends the three double crochets here. So I'll let you know how many I have created. Okay. So group of three, group of four, group of three, group of four. Okay, everyone. So counting. From the very first one we did with the four, I've done 31 groups of four, three, four, three, four. Okay, and now I'm going to do my 20, which I already have one. Two, so my groups of three now. Okay. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finish this edge two and counting from the four that we started all the way to the other end 31 so we have the same amount on the edges and also at the uh, sides okay so now we're almost there we're going to Come in the same stitch or you can do your three chains up as you used to doing your double crochet so single one chain that's my height already I stretched enough to give me my double crochet I'm gonna do another double crochet so I'm gonna create groups of six double crochets three four five and six I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, and I'm going to come in my fourth and create those groups of the six double crochet. Three, four, five and six okay one two three four five chain skip one two three coming in my fourth and creating again we're going to do this all the way around the same way including the edges that's why we have to do the increase there to make sure that we get that curve properly. Two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five chain. Skip one, two, three, come in your fourth and do your six double crochets. Then after this, I'm cutting my thread. We have about three rows left. Three or four, two, four, five, and six. Four, 
So one, two, yep, three rows left, and we're pretty much done after that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm close to the end, and if I do, if I skip one, two, three, and come in my fourth, I would only have to do one double crochet. That wouldn't work, right? So I'm going to go back. Taking out two groups here and I'm going to also take out instead of five chain I'm gonna do four chain I'm gonna skip one two I'm gonna come on my third and do two double crochet on my third one I'm doing an increase of two on the same stitch so I have four five and six one two three four i'm going to skip one two on my third it makes no difference on the pattern by the way and so on the third of a crochet here i'm going to do an increase again so i have four five and six now let me just do my count to make sure i'm okay Okay, so I think I should be okay now. One, two, three, four, five chain. Skip one, two, three on my fourth. Double crochet. One per stitch. So I have three, four, five, and my sixth. That means one, two, three, and into the fourth. One, two, three, four, five. So no biggie. So here on two of them, we added two together on the same stitch and skipped only two and went into the third twice. Okay. So I'm going to cut my thread now. Okay, everyone. So I'm going to try with my yellow to see if I like it so we can be balanced with the colors here. If I don't like it, then I'm taking it down and using a lighter blue or something. Okay, so now we are going to do inside, you can start anywhere. Inside of this five chain, I'm going to do seven, Double crochet. So I started with a single and one chain. That's the height of my first double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six. And seven. I'm going to do one, two, three, four chain. Coming into the next one and creating those seven double crochets again. Three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four chain. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets and four chain. Okay, so I'll meet you at, at the end. Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished my yellow. Coming back in with the cream color. We have one more row left after this. So. I'm going to go into the first double crochet. We're going to be alternating 
double crochets here. So single one chain would be my first double crochet. On the same one, I have an increase, two together. Next one, one alone. Next one, two together. And it's going to be like this in all of them. Next one, one alone. Next one, two together. That means that we're going to have a total of 11 double crochets. One alone. And the last one, our seventh double crochet, we have two together. So we have two on the first one, one on the next one, two on the next one, one alone, two together, one alone. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I'm going to come straight down. Not we're not working the first double crochet and we're not working the last one. So we're going to do make sure you grab that yellow in between to hide it. We're going to do one, two, three, and four incomplete double crochet. So I have five on my hook. And now I'm going to close them all together. Again, coming on that first double crochet with two double crochets. Next one, one alone. So we're basically repeating the 11 double crochets, always by alternating two together, one alone, two together, one alone. Total of 11 double crochets. Last one, two together. Again, coming on our second double crochet, make sure you grab that yellow also, that um, five, uh, four chain we did. Incomplete double crochet. My second, my third, and my fourth. We have five loops on the hook. We take it all out at once. Come directly into the first double crochet and repeat your two double crochets together. One alone. Next stitch, two together one alone, two together, one alone, and two together. Just one more time and complete. Make sure you grab that yellow also behind it, one, two, three, and four incomplete double crochet. So we have five loops on the hook, close it on that once, and start your first double crochet with two double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, last row. Coming in with my royal blue. I'm going to skip that first double crochet and I'm coming in the second one with a slip stitch. This is very easy to do and it's a beautiful stitch. One chain into the next one, slip stitch. One chain into the next one, slip stitch. That's all you have to do to the motives here. Trying to hide my little thread here as I go. Okay, 
So I'll slip stitch and we don't work the first one and we don't work the last one. No chain on the last one. So um, before the last one, okay? We don't work this last one. So just slip stitch. Turn twice on your hook. We're doing triple. Coming in that double crochet. Take out two. Whoops. Take out two. And hold it on your hook. So we have two on the hook plus I've turned twice. Coming into the next one. Take out two, take out two, and the last three. Coming on that second double crochet again, slip stitch. One chain, slip stitch. And this is how we're going to do all the way around. Of course, you can choose whatever colors you guys want. I was debating on the brown or the royal blue, but I think I'll leave the royal blue. No chain here, I keep forgetting about that. Okay, so turn twice on your hook, we're doing triple. Coming in that first, in the bottom, stretch your thread, take out once, take out twice. Leave the other one, turn twice. Come into the next one here, take out once, take out twice, and take the three of them out. Into the second double crochet, slip stitch, one chain, slip stitch, one chain, slip stitch, one chain. So basically we're working only in the inner double crochets. Okay? And this pretty much says it for this tutorial. Very similar to the other pattern, but you will see the difference on here. <clears throat> here we have the motives like that. And this one is just groups of double crochets. Okay? So I will see you in the next tutorial. Stay tuned maybe for the doily, the round doily for this oval. So we can have a set for the people that are selling and supporting their families. Take care, everybody. God bless. Thank you so much for being here. Please give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. It costs you nothing and it helps us. God bless you. Until next time. Bye-bye, everyone.